Smith, Executive Director of the 180 Group. Kim Smith, Executive Director of the 180 Group. Our organization provides financial education, workforce readiness, academic enrichment. And we primarily leverage the popularity of sports to increase financial education. So we have what we call our network program in sport that has a net, usually basketball. Uh, we associate with the net, you know, how much is your net worth, net worth financial, the net, soccer net, basketball net, tennis net, volleyball net. Um, and we were blessed to receive the grant, so I don't know who was responsible for that, but thank you so much for the opportunity uh, to receive the support. And I have the presentation with uh, what we uh, used during the first half of the grant. So the objective set out was to increase the awareness of safety and crime prevention, and these are the things that we said we would do. Uh, increase the positive interactions with JSO for the positive perceptions of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Increase participation of faith-based community and crime prevention initiatives, and of course provide financial education to youth as a pathway to overcome poverty while also connecting with peers and adults during out-of-school hours. Um, and uh, we really have a passion for financial education and anybody who saw the grant area, um, part of that in there saying, it's not often when you're rich, you're committing crimes. You know, so financial education, financial stability. I think my microphone went off again. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Okay. Can hear you. Uh, it's what we provide. We can go to the next slide. a brief snapshot of the students that we served uh, throughout the grant period. Uh, we had 67 with what we called our Safe Sundays, it's safety and financial education, where we bring the students in. Uh, we talk to them about the different programs that are offered through the Sheriff's Office, as well as provide financial education, and of course, they get to play basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, financial education is primarily our Wealth Check Wednesdays. Uh, that is a similar program where the students come in. Uh, we work through our Money Smart curriculum and providing the financial education. They sign up, have an online portal, 14 lessons, and they get a certificate uh, for that. And our healthy relationship training is something new that we started in 2023. And this is where uh, the students come in. Again, it's uh, four hours that they are with us. And we talk through relationship building, making wise choices, and relationships, conflict resolution, mm -hmm. um, to maintain healthy relationships with friends, parents, you know, anyone they interact with. And you can go to the next slide. <laughs> and this is just a picture of one of our Safe Sunday programs. Uh, this one was at the Citadel Church of Jacksonville. So not only do the students come to us, we also go out into the community. What we found is that transportation sometimes is a challenge. Um, also sometimes desire is a challenge. You know, if you ask them to come in and learn about money, it's not at the top of their list, but if you take it to them, uh, in the community, to the churches, the apartment complexes, sometimes the schools as well, um, we found that to be valuable for our program. You can go to the next one. Um, and this slide is just some of the Safe Sunday partnerships that we develop. So in working with the faith-based community, uh, we share different programs that are offered by the city of Jacksonville through the community engagement office. And some of the programs we didn't even know existed. So it was good for us to explore and identify these programs to share with the community. Uh, we had churches that partnered with <coughs> us, putting them in their church announcements. And we also had representatives there uh, to share the information live as well. So these are just some of the flyers and uh, communications that we share about the positive things that the city of Jacksonville does. We have a slogan with our Safe Sundays where we say cops are cool, you know, just to get the students to realize the cops are human beings mm -hmm. as well. You know, they don't only shoot people and arrest people. They also help and provide support in other areas in the community. Mm -hmm. um, you can go to the next slide. 
Um, this is one of our participants for the Teen Police Academy uh, that came through you know, the actual uh, program announcement that we sent out. So it was a good interaction for uh, that as well. You can go to the next one. Um, this is just a snapshot from our Wealth Check Wednesdays. Again, not only partnerships with the churches, uh, this is the Jacksonville Trojans, which is a Christian-based basketball organization. And they partnered with us, I think it was in the second quarter, where they would bring their players in, receive the financial education, because we have a lot of organizations that say, oh, we do mentoring, academic support, and we've kind of bridged the gap to help those organizations do a better job at that. You can go to the next one. Uh, this is just kind of a layout of our well check Wednesday when the students come in. They have the pretest to check where their knowledge is. Uh, we do partner with uh, Community First Credit Union. Every student that comes through our program has this promotional offer where Community First will pay the opening deposit for their bank account mm -hmm. uh, because that's one of the first things we want them to do is everybody who comes through our program, you know, put your money in the bank, not in a box under your bed or in a shoe. You know, make sure you have a banking relationship which keeps your money safe. Um, so we partner with Community First and then uh, the little snapshot is the certificate. When they sign into the portal, receive their account, uh, we work with them through the 14 lessons and they get a certificate for each component that they complete. You know, the money five is what we talk about a lot because you have the starting five in basketball. So we also have the money five, earn, save, spend, borrow, and protect. Um, so throughout multiple lessons in that, that's where they receive their certificate for each component that they complete. Uh, you can go to the next one. Um, this is our healthy relationship training. Uh, the picture you see here is what we call the line leader. Uh, where it's just regular activities they have to complete, but it's teaching them about personality types and how to interact and communicate. So you probably can vaguely see the green line, but they have to stand on the line through every exercise. So they'll have on a jersey and some of it might say, okay, line up in numerical order without moving from the line. So if you're 15 and you're on this side, then you'll see, oh no, you move, you move. You know, so it's a lot of personality <laughs> and you'll see your true leaders emerge, you'll see some that are private <coughs> that you have to pull into it. Uh, but this is one of our favorite exercises with uh, kind of managing personality types, adjusting your personality style because of someone else who's in the room. Uh, so that's one of our favorite exercises, the line leader. You can go to the next one. Oh, and this one is um, just a high five of choosing friends wisely. So this is another component that we teach the student about. You know, a lot of stuff that we do is in five. So we talk about, you know, financial interactions, emotional, social, academic, <coughs> spiritual, physical interactions, and things that they should consider. So when you're looking at who's in your circle, add a value point to each piece that they bring in the relationship. You can go to the next one. Um, and this is just some of the reflections. One of the things that we are very happy about is that all of the participants learned something new. So whether it was something about money or something about themselves, something about someone else, um, we had positive survey feedback across the board. Uh, the networking opportunities through this grant were also beneficial to us. So not only the financial component, but the training sessions we had, meeting other organizations and partnering with them. So some of those churches that are in this same program also were participants in getting the word out on some of our initiatives. Um, the One Cloud Supplier Portal, uh, that was good. You know, we're a small nonprofit. We had signed up many, many years ago, never used it. So the experience of truly moving through that system and learning how to navigate that uh, was beneficial for us as well. Then, of course, the funding. You know, the money helped us to purchase simple things like tables and chairs for our participants and our LCD monitor. Uh, was beneficial as well. Under the lessons learned, changes in the disbursement system, you know, delayed the reimbursement. So that was an adjustment that we had to make. You know, we had our timing off a little bit. Uh, so we learned how to navigate that. Uh, limited availability of JSO for the weekend. You know, we looked for more. Well, we were expecting more, you know, during the initial grant application participation from the sheriff's office. But you go through the community engagement portal, 
submit the request, and oftentimes weekend support was not available. So, you know, we learned how to navigate that. Um, and then limited resources to provide the follow-up because the students come to us, and again, you know, we're trying to go to them, make sure they remain engaged, but uh, we realize we need to do some things differently in terms of um, keeping them engaged throughout. So more email campaigns as far as the lessons that are due in their portal because they don't complete all 14 at once. Um, it's usually the intro and then as they come back, they complete lessons. So that was something that we're still working through because we are, you know, 100% volunteer. Nobody on our staff is paid. Everybody has full-time jobs. So um, it's not, you know, it's easier said than done to do that follow-up. Um, and then the last thing I had is the non-athletic prizes are needed. Right now, like I said, our target audience is primarily athletes, uh, but through this program and our recent activities, we have a lot of students coming to us who don't play sports, where they're in the band or they're cheerleaders you know, or they're in the choir. Um, and most of our incentives and prizes are basketball or sports related. So that's just one thing. You know, again, just things that we thought about and you know continue to review with the board as we came through this program. And I think the last slide is just our information, just our regular, and that's it for me.